Pop's birthday today, so yeah, I told Pop, tell him you can choose the uh, topic, and what does he do? He's like, I don't know. I didn't know what to pick. You never hey, know. Pop. It's all right. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. But I'm uh, decisive. Bring the whole podcast down. I see how it is. You brought this I- whole. You brought this whole thing down years yeah. ago. You, you, Pop, we've been doing this for like. We've been doing this for three months. <laughs> hey, it's the internet. A month is a year. Yeah, yeah. People have already people have already forgotten about. Oh wait, that's kind of not really relevant. I was gonna say people have already forgotten about Fall Guys. Yeah, mm-hmm. but they're putting that on Switch soon. <laughs> Too late, anyway. Yeah. yeah they, today, well, when this gets uploaded, we're gonna record this two days before. Yes, we are. We do not plan ahead very well. It's gonna be Pop's <laughs> birthday. Yo, it's gonna be my birthday. It's too it's late. To everybody, wish my happy birthday in the comments. Everybody, say happy birthday in the comments, even though like nobody happy ever comments on these. Pa, hop. Happy birthday, pa, hop. We can't use the real song because it's copyrighted. And so you use the Blues Clues song? You're using the Blues Clues theme song tune. Hey, the, hey, um, the, hey, the, hey, Blues hey, Clues. Hey, you're like, you're like, hey, you're like hey, Blues Clues. We're gonna get okay. Now we're gonna get sued. Great, wonderful. Great, great. It's great. Great, great. Buy, great. Okay, Viacom, try again. Viacom's <laughs> tried to go after YouTube back in '09. They can't do anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yep. I just have no respect for a company that uh dishonors the wishes of a dead man. Me. Seriously, pop, Viacom, pop, pop. without that yellow cheese block, you'd have nothing. <laughs> yellow <laughs> cheese block? Seriously, what else are you relying on? Teen Mom? No, sir. Ugh. Oh, God, that show's terrible. Uh, no, they're relying on, uh, you know, the, um, the, the Loud House, you know? And everybody loves the Loud House. Yeah. Well, more than they, they love really the creator, anyway. They love... The Loud House. All right, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy. We gotta keep it G rated. We can't let this go G. down like that. G- okay, we PG. Have, we gotta have we we have to have mild language. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just crap. Stupid. <gasps> no, dumb. No, all there. right, no, we have a PG thirteen. So, okay. So we get one F word anyway. About no T V fourteen. Ratings make no sense. Wow. Why is it some TV swears 14? are okay, but and others F-word. aren't? TV, yeah, TV-14, oh, it's like PG-13, you get one F-word. TV-14, <laughs> you get F-words, but they're censored. You get like, as many as you want. <laughs> Confusing. Yeah. Um, because it's that one's, one's TV, one's movie, I think. Because they, they, have, to, they have to get you to uh, listen to the fake swears just so that you'll buy the DVD. Different standards. It's a conspiracy, I tell ya. It's they, a conspiracy, I tells ya. That mountain's gonna blow. Give oh, us man. a copy of Sailor Mouth with the actual cuss words. Ah, oh, I would love that. Give us Did the cuss word curse? cut. Did they actually curse? Yeah. Give us the Hillenburg yeah. cut. Tom Kenny, okay, so basically, um, Tom Kenny told that, like, talked about, it, like, a Comic Con or whatever. They were told just to, like, like make up some st- swears things that sound like swears, and they're like, ah, oh, it's just it's too hard. It like breaks breaks the flow of the sentence. So they actually, so, so they actually swore. I really want that. I really want that cut. I want that audio. I want, if I you want that, I want. I want to hear Patrick curse. I, there, there's um. You can probably do that with um, the 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 AI, the fifteen dot AI. Well, I mean it. And, it oh. oh. You can also kind of guess which swears it is because of the lip animations. SpongeBob was straight going to say, go dolphin noise yourself in the episode. In that one, when they're playing Eels and Escalators, but the Nickelodeon was like, ah, it's, no, we can't do that one. The one meme where it's like, he's in, um, someone and Patrick are in like voting class, and he like, um, tells him to, to shut the F up. It's weird to see the actual scene because you think he's going to say that. Because so you yeah. see the meme. I, it's so weird. Like it's so weird watching old SpongeBob and seeing the memes. Like it's, it's like it's just I see these things. I see these up. I see these things like clips so much because I like just like randomly like I want to like rabbit hole. 
The memes are rapid fire in all episodes. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I like be watching. I watch like these clips on YouTube, and I know the context for the clips and everything. But then I watch the actual episodes, and then they come up, and it just makes it even funnier to me. The, the, one, Spon- the one where SpongeBob was Bob, amazing. SpongeBob, right, one where SpongeBob goes and lives in the wild, and the one part where the one part where it's like naked SpongeBob naked or like out of breath, and then <laughs> immediately after, there's another meme. Like I literally, oh, like, Patrick, yeah. less than like, like less than like four seconds later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> another meme. Yeah, it's I'm amazing. I'm surprised that I'm surprised that Nickelodeon actually made merchandise of that of the um, little one that's one out of breath because that was used used for a lot of sexual memes. They're making what a happened? Halo show what? for Paramount Plus. A what? You lagged what? A show based on Halo. You know oh, the yeah. popular video game franchise about the. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I know what Halo was. About that guy, about that like girl who like, wears, she's like in a super suit, and her name is Metroid, right? That, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and the boy with the <laughs> notebook who can just write things and they appear. But honestly, my favorite game in the series was the fifth one, where they had Cloud Strife and uh, Fox McCloud appear. Oh yeah, the one with the one featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. The new funky mode. And Knuckles. Yeah, yeah. And you had to you had to hook up you had to hook up a cartridge on the disc. Oh. Did you did you have to switch did you have to switch around did you have to switch around Skylanders and the Portal Power? Yeah, yeah. And what made it even weirder is that it required the DS's camera, and you had to use download play to get one of the special levels. Oh, uh, I miss the DSi. Huh. But what really made it weird was when they ported it to the Vita, but the Vita version was just like a PS3 version, and you could connect but it to the PS4 so that I you could only... get Mario and uh, Master Chief in it. But it only, yeah, but it only worked for the Engage or something. I, it, that was that was like in the eighties, you know. Things were, things were yeah. The eighties were wild. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but my, the cats are looking at each other, and I love them. Oh yeah, your cats. <laughs> yeah, your cats. <laughs> Fuzzy and Lulu. <laughs> Just dox them like that. But it, come on, it. Yeah, because people are gonna know the exact name. But I don't what know. What are we talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm typing. I'm texting a friend. Wait, what? We're talking about cats. Oh, I love cats. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good, that's a good musical. Oh huh? yeah, that's a lie. Musical's good. Movies. The, the musical's okay. The movie's terrible. Yeah, so I've, ne- I've never seen I've ne- I haven't seen anything with cats. I, I saw the Family Guy parody where Peter ran over one of the one of the actors, but that's about it. Oh, dude, to my I'm knowledge sorry. about these cats, right? To my knowledge about these cats, right? And they I like explain, they, they, they vibe. The entire pl- I will explain the entire plot to you right now if you do not stop me. <laughs> all right, all right, let's hear it. Quality content. Let's do this. Come on, pop. Tell us. Okay. So. There's this guy, right? <laughs> he's he's just he's just ch- he's just chilling, playing bas- basketball, and then some guys come up and beat him up. Oh my God! Then his aunt, then his aunt is like, "Oh, this is too dangerous. I'm gonna move to this other place." And then he takes a taxi there, and and that's how he became the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> not- I saw that coming once you said there was some guy playing basketball. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you were gonna go the Space Jam route. <laughs> I then again, like, there was a guy playing b- basketball, right? Then some guys came up. I'm like, oh, oh my god, this is, this is just fresh, <laughs> fresh Prince of Bel Air. No, uh, those cats. My dog is freaking story. out. My dog's freaking oh, out, a... and he keeps scratching okay. his fur out. We have a straight up. Okay, one day my dad randomly brings home a coconut. He puts the coconut on the counter, 
it has been in the coconut for months. It has not moved. And I was like, please do something with it. Please do, please do something with this coconut. It is threatening my life. Hey, maybe you can make it into a... Uh, oh my god. What's that drink with pineapple? Oh my god, I... God, I, it's amazing. I can't take pop. It's just like, my dad brought home a coconut. <laughs> I swear to God, kid, if you if, if you if you make that a um one of those out of context videos like you did with the the Dumbo rant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. We need to make a video of like that one that one ending thing at the end of the twenty five days. We need to we need yeah. to get um once we get enough of these. It'd be weird to we, do a Christmas we, we, video in March. What once once we get enough of these? We should make an out of you should make an out of context video. Oh yeah. If we ever be popular. <laughs> hey, I doubt hey, it. hey! Among Us took two years to get popular, and now it's everywhere. Again, dude, I've had this YouTube <laughs> channel for almost nine years. Yeah, but you unlisted most of the videos and hid them in a way so that other people won't have immediate access to them. Just yeah, like we're talking about those videos. One, two, there's one that one video. Little <laughs> Leon, anyway. Um, yeah, but that's neither here nor there. Not very good videos um, there. Anyways, anyways, we're not going to talk about that. Um, moving on. How about you guys? So, other than that, Mrs. Reagan, how was the parade? <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Who are you going to offend? The man has been dead since... I don't know what he's been dead in history. Other than that, but, uh, other, than that <laughs> other than that... Other than that, this is Lincoln. How'd you enjoy the play? I'm wearing a Spongebob shirt that's meant for girls right now. Um, It's like a long sweep sleeve, sleeve you sweater. You good in it. I do, like... <laughs> Like, it's don't like anime so, so. shirt that uh I thought was supposed to fit me, but I didn't notice it was the women's size. Wait, okay, it's double XL, so it fits really nicely. Cause I'm a rather like I'm not I'm I'm a really I'm a large fat man. Not really, not that fat, but you know it's whatever. It's like a. Listen, that means. Are we slap. gonna? Oh, okay. Oh, I did not feel can good. Can anyone today. like just, draw? Oh, that was a bad idea. Can anyone draw like Kit's icon and like the big Chungus look? I. But <laughs> I want that on Twitter. Please don't draw. Please don't draw a spook like that. Don't Come on, give us big spook us. Please, <laughs> please no, no. Big but, um, big spookus, big spookus, big spookus. It uses like the old SpongeBob logo, right? And um, has like the SpongeBob characters. It's like a cyan blue long sleeve like sweater shirt kind of thing. I had to put a shirt underneath it because you can see like my like top half of my chest because it's again it's a girl <laughs> shirt. And the neck hole is huge, so I put a shirt underneath it, and it fits really nicely. And I really, I really like this. And I also got, I'm like, this is this is something I want to bring up. Um, a Walmart, it's a Walmart shirt back when they had um the rollback logo, or whatever, and the, the giant smiley face. Yeah, they had the little the little what sticker is with that the, the old man would what? let you have. What is with the 2000s and that specific smiley face? Like I never yeah. really noticed it. I never really noticed Remember it. Remember Microsoft until... Bob? Who? I, but but no, Stop no, Bob, I, the little no, smiley face that Microsoft had. No, I never noticed the smiley face thing until like, like um, until like today. Like I like I really thought about it. I'm like, wait, huh? They were like everywhere. It's like the guy. <laughs> the Be Kind Rewind. Guy. There was um the rollback. There was just I remember this is not on a product really, but it had like a smiley face sticker on a water bottle on my kindergarten right. graduation day. You know what feeling you never get again. Uh, now that you're an adult, what? Go to Walmart with your mom, like your mom, right? And you're walking through the line, and the cashier takes a, takes a sticker from her roll, puts it on her on her thumb, puts it on your shirt, and go, "There you go, that's for free." And I would never uh, have that feeling again. I'm never gonna have the magic of Christmas back. <laughs> Twenty five days of Christmas killed it for you. No, no, I just never really... Okay, if you're a small child, first off, why are you listening to this? Secondly, enjoy Christmas while you can, because once you get older like us, it the magic goes away, and it's just another day of your life, and it sucks. 
it's another day, but you get but you get gifts. Sometimes that sometimes it's a little like when I'm watching a Christmas special. Sometimes a little that little little shred of like nostalgia and the Christmas spirit comes back in me Man. and fills what? my heart with the love and joy. And then I realize, oh yeah, I'm, I'm an adult now. I Christmas hey. responsibility is not fun anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna be 20 in April, and I have I caught the next essentialism. What? I will fight you. I'm 20 today. I'm oh yeah, Pop's gonna be 20 the day this comes out. So, <laughs> get wrecked, old man. Um, keep okay. my age ambiguous. I I I. Uh, what was it? I was gonna. Okay, okay. So I have to talk about this. I have to talk about this. Pop and Gibby already know about this this story, right? They already know about this, but I gotta talk about this on the. I gotta talk about this because this is like the most funniest thing that ha- has happened to me recently, in my opinion, at least. So I'm at Google, right? And I'm looking at the electronics. I'm, you know, shopping for, a, and I'm just looking at the electronics. I find this little DVD player, right? It's like a small pink little DVD player. I'm like, well, that's cute. I really like it, you know. I mean, it would yeah. fit on my little display. If it's on my display, I have. It's literally the pin, the way I can describe it because I don't want to edit that picture in. The way I can describe it, this thing is that it's a small DVD player that is legitimately the let's talk about thumbnail um, pink. And that's that's also what really sold me. It was like five bucks. I'm like, oh my god, I will, I'll, I'll take it. It comes with a remote, everything. I need a new DVD player that's more small. I, I'll take it. I bring it home. I love, I bring it I love home. how 2000s tech was all colorful so that you could just fit yeah, it, it in already, the room. It, for some, yeah, 2000s tech was always pink. Pink and translucent for some reason. Pink, that's why blue, the, translucent, that's, that's why let's green. Talk about is, fun fact, what? actually, um, that's that's why let's talk about is actually pink. The um, thumbnail or pink because back when we were doing nostalgic movies, two thousands, I had to think of like two thousands color, and pink was the one that really came into my mind because I really thought about it. If I, oh, you know what actually it could be, like, like purple and white, you know, like that tie dye kind of color. I mean, I'm totally getting sidetracked here. So I bring it home, and I put in Rango. Like I, de- I put in DVD Rango. I don't know why that counts, but it does. It does matter. Um, it says um, there's no disc in it. I'm like, oh, crap. Okay. So I thought maybe the disc might be too. So I tried my SpongeBob Season Two DVDs from like back in like 2000 something. It said no disc was read. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. Okay. Um, I had recent, not recently, but like last year sometime, about a year ago. Yeah, I. Um, I got a PS2 for free, right? From a friend. Yeah. And it didn't yeah. work. And I found it online that the laser, you just need to twist something on the, like, the laser, and it would increase the power on the laser so it would move it. it worked, and the PS2 works great now. Um, it was a slim, by the way. So I thought maybe, I thought maybe okay, so maybe, maybe something like that is in the DVD player. So let me, or, like, you know. So I look up the DVD player, and I was just trying to, th- I just look up um, the model number, which, I mean... So people actually look this up what the studio player looks like, and they could find proof of what happened. It is a Durabrand DVD player. Yeah, it's a pink one. So I look up Durabrand DVD player, and then the model number on the bottom, and I see a recall notice. Right. So Ooh. I look at the recall notice, right? And so this thing. In the year in August of 2009, was recalled by Walmart for causing seven fires. Oh, oh, oh a Samsung. <laughs> it's just, it's just hilarious to me. So now I, I printed, I printed out the um the recall notice. I printed that out and I put, attached it to my shelf, and I put the duty player next to my little. If you go, if you see my Twitter, you've probably seen the display. But I put the DVD player like right in front of that, so it's like a recall notice. Like this is DVD player, R- return it. It's going to set your house on fire. Um, about forty nine of them were returned out of a couple million that were sold. Your Wasn't DVD there like a there was like a British gaming console that had a similar thing where it would catch on fire if you didn't hook it up right? No idea. It was called like the Amstrad something. It's just, it's just, it's just the way yes, that it right. reads. It's just, it's a pink DVD player that says it. It says it's a um, it's it's um, it says it's an MP3 player too. <laughs> it was sold exclusively at Walmart. Recalled in two thousand nine for causing 
seven fires. Can you guys hear me? Man. Yeah, we can hear you. It, it, it's just insane to me. <laughs> it's hilarious. I love Man, it. Man, they should have. They should have put in one of those DVD players in the microwave, and is it a good idea to microwave this? Yeah, I, even, okay, so yeah, I had it plugged in, right? Before I knew about that, I like felt it on the bottom, like, oh wow, that's kind of warm, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. That should have been the first wow. sign that this thing was a literal fire hazard <laughs> to have. <laughs> so now it, just, now it just sits up on my little display. On, um, on, hey, hey on at least used. that's a good way to, in case you ever have to... Self destruct or uh, skip town. Yep, I'll just leave the DVD player. Or if you ever have hostages. We can barely hear you, Pop. Well, listen to me then. Better? Really quiet. Yeah, that's, oh, that's way better. Oh. Hello. Hello. I really wish I could use it, though. God, it's such a nice color of pink. Oh, I wish I could use it, but no. Oh well, besides the fact it can't read discs, you know, it's a literal fire hazard. Hey, that's good in an emergency situation. I guess. It's, yeah. a, su it's a surprise tool that can help us later. <laughs> just, th just, throw, just throw the DVD player at the enemy. <laughs> it just explodes. I really want... I have a um, I have a TV that has a built-in VCR, right? I really want one yeah. that has the um, DVD player and, excuse me, VCR. Cause, cause that way, cause that way, I don't have to, I don't have to have the DVD player, you know? Yeah. It'd be nice, but it'd be nice, but it's like whatever. I don't think they have them in that size. I mean, cause I got like the one, like the tiny little VCR. I want like the one, one on I Sky want... High. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I want the I want the I want that kind of display. I don't, I can never do it because like where where it would go is where my PC has to go when I build that, uh, which should be soon actually. So, <laughs> um, is what Rebel? T <clears throat> wow, that just absolute voice crack there would be Rebel Taxis like what he has in his intros, like the blockbuster intro, um. Where he has like a whole like, big like two thousands display, I would love that. Yeah, yeah, that would be oh god, oh god, that's like the ideal thing. I went for I got more of a video store display because I have all my VHS tapes. I have too many. I I did not count all the new ones I got. If I don't know if I mentioned this on last week's episode, but I got like a I got like a lot of like fifty for like twenty bucks off off up. So I, I, I or like if not more, I had like three giant boxes full to go through. Yeah. And so, yeah, me and Pop and Gandy went through them together. It was a lot of fun, but um, it was very fun. But I didn't count them all onto the, my list that I have, uh, because I did not want to go through every single one of these. So what I'm most likely going to do is I'm just going to just start a new list, honestly. Or not? Yeah, start a new list. That way I can just like. Because they're all up on my shelving that I have, so it'd be easier just to do Whoa. that. Just because I don't know what I have, I don't have. I guess I can just add it to... Yeah, I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out, but yeah. I have a lot of VHS tapes. I probably have a good, like, over amount of 300. Good lord. And you know something? I still got nothing to watch! <laughs> <laughs> it's like... It's like, like you you think like oh we're gonna have you know, like yeah oh you don't have you know, that's plenty to watch. It's like no, I don't. It's like what am I gonna? Wh why would I watch the Toys R Us your Pokemon headquarters VHS? Like why would I watch that? Like, that's like cool. It's the one with Ash's aunt. I love that one. My friend Pinko Sebastian gave in that one. Yeah, Pink Sebastian. Yeah, that's his name. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Like what, what? What? Um. I could watch um, Titanic. I could watch Titanic on two separate tapes. You know. Where did I get this one? Did I get this one off? I of... keep getting tempted to buy this Titanic one? on VHS, but I'm not sure. You, you gotta. The Titanic was like when I first started collecting. That like I think like two years ago I started collecting or so. Wow, my Beauty and the Beast almost fell. I got a Beauty and the Beast like the Black Diamond one. <laughs> I mean, we just had it for years. I just marked it for three hundred dollars because I have like a video store kind of display. But um, you got but it. You're rich. I 
that that one I always wanted because um every like thrift Titanic. store always oh. had, be, had always had Titanic <laughs> for some reason. And then, but then when I went to get it, when I tried to get it, none of them had it. So there's the all um there's also the the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Those also come in two tapes each. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, we well, have I have Gone tape. with the Wind on two tapes, and uh, let me think. What was that? Was it cheap? Was it cheaper to put it on two tapes because it went, some of them would hold like like six hours? I mean, some Probably. tapes they would have to run through. Uh, I forget what it's called. There's a there's a mode where. So, okay. uh, so some. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I just completely, I completely came up. Was, I'm sorry. There was a mode. Oh, EP mode. In EP well, mode, they would have that. to they would have to lower the quality of a VHS tape so that they could get more more video on the tape. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wait, it was a compression quality? thing. Wait, it's about. It was, I always just thought about it was like length, but really. At least that's what I saw in a Phalus video. Hmm, interesting. I never knew that. They'd have to compress the video in order to fit more on there. Right. Neat. Yet, for some reason, there's a there's a Christmas special I have seen that uh, uses EP mode, trying to extend the length, even though it's a 22-minute long special. Okay. Okay. So, um, so I have some tapes, right, that don't have, have yeah. didn't have cases. Yeah. Like I lost the cases, like Lilo and Stitch and Spaceballs. So I decided what I was going <laughs> to do is I was going to make my own cases. I used the White Library cases and I made a I made up a uh, two day rental Keep Family Video kind of case, you know, which is my video store, like my little like video store that I made. So this was before I had a printer, right? So I would have to do I have to do I had to print these out of Kinkos. Um, I just got home. We were at, we sucked at the dollar store, and I got a milk from the dollar store, right? Yeah, yeah. From I got milk from the dollar store, and usually it's chocolate milk, so I usually like you know shake it, mix it up, you know, because that's what you're supposed to do. Um, I have my tapes all sitting out on the couch, you know. So <laughs> I take the I take I take the chocolate milk, and I shake it, not realizing <laughs> it was cracked open a little bit. So it just went everywhere. <laughs> and I started laughing so hard. It got all over um space balls. Like space balls has like like brown on it now. <laughs> but I kinda oh, like Lord. it because like I, 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 I washed it off the best I could, but it kinda has like an aged aging to it. Like it's been, like, been around for years. So I kinda like that. Kinda like that. Spaceballs is such a like a weird movie. It's like it's it's like it's not really funny if you watch it, but it's funny to quote, like Kind of a like it's not a movie I'd sit, sit down and watch anymore. It's kind of a slog to sit there, but really quotable. Yeah, uh, kind of like Monty it. Python. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, more Python quotable than it is like watchable. Monty Python, what, the Holy Grail. Oh my god, that's Monty Python, the Holy Grail. It's just such a slog just to sit there rather than just watch, quoting it. <gasps> oh, I just noticed something. I have all the lens. Oh, that looks really nice all together. Wow. I didn't, I didn't even notice that. Like, I lose track of what I have and don't have sometimes. <laughs> oh, I'm I, so I... tempted to see you last song, but we're already pushing it with uh, Blue's Clues. You, know, you can sing the songs. <laughs> you can sing the song as a joke. The general tune. Okay. Um, I know you guys kind of collect VHS tapes too. You too. What's the I most like you've ever sick. spent on a VHS? The thing. Uh, the most I've spent. Uh, that's hard to say. I usually get my tapes rather cheap, but. Yeah, same. I guess the most I've spent. This was like before I was a serious collector, and I would just like casually pick up things. I have like set, I have like I think set, I remember I getting Dragon Ball Z Lord Slug for three bucks. What are you saying, Pop? I have like six VHS. I'm not a collector. Okay, well I know you like kind of like you kind of like VHS tips too, but yeah. Okay, so 
mm-hmm. for me, when I usually, if I'm buying a VHS online, if it's like a more common VHS, like if I'm buying like Shrek, which I have three of the uh, the tall cases of, which are very threatening, very threatening, looming, and they just loom there. <laughs> um, well, I got three because I had one, and then the lot had two of them in it, so now I have three. <laughs> I got rid of most of the duplicates, but I wanted three Shreks because it's just hilarious to me. Anyway, if I'm if I'm buying a VHS online. The most I pay if it's like a common is usually like five or six bucks. Um, that's with six dollars is with shipping. Like the average, uh, it usually pays like five dollars. Like I just got a VHS. Like I just want to bid it on a VHS for like it was like six dollars altogether. So not bad on that one. Um, the first time I spent like more than five dollars on a VHS online was the Mario movie because I saw it for like ten or twelve dollars. And that was a good deal at the time because this is it's such a weird like hard to find VHS. Mine is in really bad quality, but I, I love this movie and I really am glad I got it on the VHS. Um, but then after Underrated that, movie. it is it is it's just it's over it's cool, overhated. That's the problem. It's it's such a cool take on Mario. Yeah, yeah it is. if you see it um, as its own thing, it's pretty good. But. After that, the next tape I sent. So I actually found it cost me almost twenty dollars, but it was so worth it because of how much these can go for. I got a SpongeBob movie VHS, but not the clamshell. I got the cardboard, which what? just oh god, it just it just hits different with the card. Cardboard tapes just hit different. And it's like brand new. Like the guy has a, yeah, has a, like a sticker residue on Patrick, but that's so easily cleanable. It's like a brand new. Oh my oh god, it just it's so different. I love the SpongeBob movie. And a lot of people you, I mean if you listen to the podcast, you could probably already tell that I love the movie because the intro is literally like the like that is literally the intro for these podcasts because that's such like a nostalgic feeling to, for the for um everything. Is this supposed, ever... to be 2000, <laughs> this supposed to be a two thousand two thousand two thousand podcast or whatever? We just talk about whatever. Did did, did, did... ever what? Did they ever use that song for anything other than the Spongebob movie? I don't know. I I I swear I feel I've heard it on another movie. It sounds... That sounds just wrong. It doesn't seem (laughs) like it could be on another movie. That sounds wrong. (laughs) I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'm remembering wrong. Yeah. Or maybe it's that... Maybe it's the Mandarin effect. There's there, okay, so I have 300 Mandalorian. VHS tapes that I have. There is still tapes that I want. Like, um, there was tapes that I always had wanted, and I like, I knew like eventually I if I, I would find them and I would get them. One of them, I, I definitely had a list of like ones I wanted. I wanted like Stuart Little because that one was something I watched a lot as a kid at my sister's dance because only thing they had there was on it was a vcr tv like for entertainment where you would wait they had a vcr tv a copy of Stuart little on vhs and Land before time sona cold fire that those two where tapes was it? it was at my sister's dance like you can like she would she'd be what? dancing downstairs and then we'd be upstairs waiting for her to be like doing her her practicing why didn't you just bring your own tapes um I don't know, actually. We never brought tapes. We we would go to the library, and get like we like get tapes sometimes. Like when libraries had VHS tapes. But also, you yeah, I remember. I remember really my tapes. library uh, gave up. Gave I I don't remember if they gave it to me or just sold it for very cheap. I got the uh uh, what is it, the Rugrats movie on VHS. I got it in the clamshell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but um, <coughs> I got Stuart Little. Another one I wanted was the SpongeBob movie. I got the SpongeBob movie. I am still looking for her Stone of Cold Fire. Every time I see a Land Before Time tape, I'm always I always got that little like excitement in me, thinking, hoping that's gonna be Lamp, um Stone of Cold Fire. I could just buy it online, but that was fun, you know, finding out in the wild. Yeah, yeah. And of course, yeah. and of course, the Cars VHS. That's just been. <laughs> I, hey, I don't know if I'm know ever going to find the card. Someday you're going to find it. I don't know someday. if I'm ever going to find the card's VHS, honestly, but I it'll know happen. Someday. 
I know you'll Mana find someday. it at some Sorry. random thrift shop or some random. Uh, every time, every time I find I go to a thrift store and I see all the cardboard tapes and I see that they're I see red ones. I'm always like, oh my god, could it be? Could it be? Nope. Never is. You just you, I remember the one time you found like four copies of it on DVD. Yeah, I just get. I was at a Google outlet, right? Google outlets are essentially um, they're basically where the crap that Google can't sell, they put them there. It's just these giant bins full of, of stuff, right? And they dump it. They dump it into these bins, and usually they're sectionized, like in like clothes, some are electronics. Um. They got like they got movie bins, they got toy bins, things like it's 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 a really cool. I love go I love the go outlet that we go to. Um, I wish there was an outlet in my town. We I, just have okay, a donation so, center. So, um, I'm like looking in like a bin like of like DVDs and VHS tapes. Not a lot of VHS tapes, but <laughs> I saw the cars cover, and I got a little excited, but I knew it was just the DVD, and it was I was disappointed that day, but. I did get a a uh, an AV switcher for like practically nothing, so that was cool. And I also got something. What else did I get that day? I have no idea what else I got, but yeah, Google outs are awesome because they go by the weight instead of like like a set prices. So it's really cool. So you can get like things that would cost you like probably like fifteen bucks on normal Google for like like two, especially if you play your cards oh. right there. And if it's over like five pounds, I think. If it's over five, if I, I think things over five pounds, it goes like a set price. I forgot what the, excuse me, what the price is though. I've never been to a good well, outlet. I gotta when take. We, I gotta take you some time. I gotta take you some time. Didn't live so far away. I oh, just Oops. slapped my knee. <laughs> what about you, fellas? Mustard or ketchup? Ketchup. <laughs> oh. Oh, did that slap pick up? Oh God, just hurt yeah, my little. knee so badly. Oh god. I, I slapped my knee and it just Man, oh that hurt my if hand. If you're in this much pain, should should we wrap it up? No, I'm fine. It's just that hurt. We still got time. <laughs> you getting hurt as content. Do it again. We need content. <laughs> we need content. My mom texts me. Oh, I'd say I'm getting our content. Ah, <laughs> well, we, huh? we gotta have long videos, bro. We got long videos. We got, I gotta, I gotta rack up that watch time so I can monetize. <laughs> That's a joke. I'll probably make like a dime. <sighs> I don't, I don't, I don't care about money anyway. So off YouTube, like if I can make money off it, that'd be cool. But it's like it's whatever. I was actually, I remember, um, it was whenever the Jake Paul, the Logan, whoever found the body in the for, forest, I forget which one it is. Whenever that happened, whatever year that was, um. I was going and I was like, trying to apply to have my channel monetized, and <laughs> I um I did the I did everything for it, right? And then <laughs> literally, like, like, I'm wait, I'm like I did it, and then literally the next day, YouTube was like, "We have a new way for monetization. Now you have to have a thousand subscribers and forty thousand watch hours." I'm like, "Oh, okay, yep. cool, wonderful." Welp. There you go, you're dead. Yeah, yep. you were temporarily disconnected. <gasps> oh, yeah, Nick just changed their YouTube to the Nickelodeon cartoon universe. Oh, boy. Oh. Who did? Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. The YouTube channel's oh. different now. It's the Nickelodeon Cartoon Universe. They changed New it today. Game? What? New Nicktoons game? No, no, it's a channel, a YouTube channel. Ew. Ew, they that change. icon's terrible. It looks like something you used in, like, 2009, and that's not a compliment. I love 2009, but that is not a compliment. That looks like Planet Sheen CGI-looking... <laughs> like, what is that? Like, it looks... She no, do not you know press this button. You know what it looks like? It looks like the the boys shirt from the Cat in the Hat movie. It has a like, design <laughs> to it, like the orange and the yellow. That man is so. We, should, we, we need to watch. We need to watch Cat in the Hat for this podcast sometime. Yeah, yeah. we also <laughs> need to watch the uh, 
garbage picking, field goal kicking, Philadelphia phenomenon. That is legitimately a Disney movie. Is, is that it's the a Disney thing? movie? It's a Disney movie from 1998. Oh, me and Pop on YouTube. Legit, I, I don't know if it's still going to be up there, but we watched Cat in the Hat backwards. <laughs> the scene where Alec Baldwin is like, nobody likes a suck up. Like that. That scene in reverse is so horrifying. It's like he's saying some weird alien text. Oh my god, it's so freaky. And then he goes, and then he goes. When he goes, he and he goes. <laughs> yeah. Picked up. Yeah, picked up. Yeah, we okay. I don't know if he'll ever do this, but there is something I want to do. I want to try to do sometime with all of us. I want to. Yeah. I want to sometime in the future. Don't know if it's yeah. going to happen, so I don't want to keep anybody's hopes up because I don't. I would have to do some testing with other channels. You make some, make another channel and do some testing. Um, I would like to do commentary videos for videos, like like for movies from the two thousands. Like like we watch oh, like oh. literally, or like we literally watch the movies instead of just talking about oh, oh. movies. We just literally, we it's just be called like let's watch, like it'd so be like so, the microwave know? society. I was thinking more like no ordinary commentary. Which if you haven't watched them, please watch them. They are so underrated and amazing. Watch the cat and hat video, and then watch the Ham Montana videos. Like that, those are the, those are the two I recommend to you. Again, no ordinary commentary. Please watch them. They deserve a lot more subscribers. I don't know <laughs> if I get like one person there. That's 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 a win for me. <laughs> Hey, I'm looking them up right now. Oh, they're great. Me and Pop watched some episodes. They're great. We we did. Yeah, yeah, we watched the Cat and Hat one and the Hand Montana one. It's true. <laughs> I'm watching yeah. two guys badly sing the Victorious theme. Oh yeah, the Victorious one. Victorious is such a weird show. Yeah. I, I, I could just I describe Victorious. Everyone, everyone who's I, been on it since has just kind of disappeared, except for Cat. I just describe Victorious as just horny iCarly. Carly. Because it, it really is. Like it, it's we it ha- everything has such like a weird underlining like underlining <laughs> sexual tension to it. Yo, what up, Red J? It's weird. And kind of, kind of disturbing. Was <laughs> kind of disturbing, given who created the show. But that's whatever. Let's not talk about that one and make this another episode that I gotta not release. And have another gap in the schedule. Anyway, <laughs> how are you guys? On, Pretty Ibra. good, but I want some bibble. What? Candy, Candy, please don't do it. Don't do a cat impression. I swear, to you, I will literally kick you off and replace you with another man. You can't replace, replace me. The last guy who got yeah. replaced got locked in my basement. Okay, so you I do have left yet. I literally, there are people outside. There are people outside right now auditioning, the line, lining up to audition for Gendy. Mm-hmm. We got so many. We got so many phone calls we can make. It's freaky because they all look like you, and it's freaky. I never thought I'd see somebody again. He's in one place. Yeah, I named oh my yeah. god, who let my coat? Oh my god, who let my clones <laughs> out? <laughs> He's a cousin. I love the idea of just getting. I love. You, I, like, I love the idea of like how in like sitcoms, like kids sitcoms, you know, like Disney sitcoms, like oh that's my cousin, and it's just like, it's just the same actor but just like slightly different. I, I love or the idea like, of that just like, with you. Plankton, like Plankton's cousins that were all just the same. That were like the same five designs. <laughs> I can't read. Yeah. Get out hey, of here. why ain't you running? Well, I can't read. <laughs> also, it took me a while to finally get that eye joke. Good. That weren't meant for mortal eyes. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, That's, a good, out the is a I... That's a good episode. Yeah, uh, I remember on the school bus, I had a friend who, uh, we would do shadow puppets and try to recreate it. Four heaving yeah. pounds of freshly ground plankton. I warned you. <laughs> 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 the cutoff. 
This is the ass. I can't, I can't, I can't actually scream because my sister's asleep and Damn. she has to go to work in a couple hours. Or anything pounds are freshly ground. I can't do the point right now. I gotta yell and I can't yell. A lot of my yeah. friends are just, I gotta scream for them. At bus, it's... We get into the point we gotta wrap up soon. Yeah. Oh, I actually... Whoa! All my stuff is falling. I bounced, and like literally the force of my thickness made everything fall off my TV. It's a lot of force, wow. bro. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Oh, that's something I can regret in about a year. Um, anyway. Hey, hey. That... <laughs> Imagine ah, imagine somebody animating that. That's going to be hysterical. Oh, God, I wish we can get things like this animated. Oh, my God, I wish we were popular enough for that. I, I would honestly, I would do like, I would do us like reacting to them, honestly, because I, because I just, I want, I want that. But anyway, yeah. I have a one, I have one more VHS story. All my, all my VHS tapes have stories, honestly, like, that's what, that's what I love about them, honestly, because everything has a story. Like, literally, okay, I'm going to pick one at random. I'm just going to close my eyes and... The mask. I got that off of um, a VHS shelf that I got for free. It's like a, like a giant shelf, like seven foot shelf full of VHS tapes for free on offer up. Like it's, it's just everything it has a story. So I'm at Google, okay. right? I'm at Google, yeah. and I um I was gonna get I was looking at the VHS tapes, gonna get Clifford's really big movie, and I was like, oh uh, yeah maybe yeah I only had a dollar on me. Um, I reach into the back, and I pull out another tape. I pull out Mac and Me, which if you're a fan of Cinemassacre, you'll know why that's such a big deal. And I, oh my god, I got so excited finding Mac and Me. I remember the night we watched Mac and Me together. I think Pop fell asleep through it. Yeah, but like, Pop wasn't there. (laughs) Pop wasn't there. We just, you and me just kind of watched it together. (laughs) Yeah. I think you were busy doing something. Either that or you were moving. I don't know. You just said you couldn't be there. Hmm. Man, it takes the movie one-third into the movie to finally go to McDonald's. (laughs) Oh, yeah, something interesting. Um, Mystery Hmm. Science Theater 2000, like the, the the, the, the sequel show on Netflix, they did Mac and Me on that. They didn't mac me on that, but they cut and they cut out the McDonald's scene because they couldn't show the McDonald's. I guess. Yeah, so, Brandon. Literally, the point <laughs> of mac and me, it was just a McDonald's commercial. <laughs> like how the Wizard was a commercial for Nintendo games. Oh, I want the Wizard on VHS. Oh yeah. Seriously, have you ever seen some of the Wizard? It, it's wild because. This kid's gambling and going to bars, playing arcade games. Yeah, The Wizard is just wild. I haven't really seen it, but I've seen like the Nostalgia Creek video on it. Not that you know Nostalgia Creek's in quality now, but it's just wild. Nostalgia so. Critic? He's a good guy, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, I so we got to wrap it up. Be kind, oh, rewind, and we'll see you Wait. next time. I was not done, Candy. I swear to God. Oh. I swear to God. I literally get. What, what, what is your name? Timothy. Yeah, we're gonna get Timothy. He's gonna replace you. Um. What was I gonna say? Now I lost my train of thought. Timothy, look what you've done. Timothy, you're fired. Gonna need you rehired. Um. Good, because I was gonna take oh. out Timothy for personal <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Patrick, you're fired. But I don't work here. Would you like a job starting now? Boy, would I? Would I? You're fired. <laughs> so what are you okay, saying? Well, I don't remember now. Timothy, let, let me lose my train of thought. Hmm. Um, I don't know. Final. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Again, so I just want to say happy birthday to Pop. Happy 20th birthday. Yeah. Because when this gets up, yeah. it's not his birthday today, but I'm saying it, you know, in advance because it's going to come out on his birthday. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to look into the whole movie commentary, let's watch idea, see what I can do for that, if I can even do such a thing. Um, and then 
One last thing. I am still working on the Thomas and the Magic Railroad history video. That's going to come out. It's not like the car is safe. I'm actually doing work on it. <laughs> I've been working on the script <laughs> and doing a lot of research for it. It's been a pain, but I do it because I want to. And I love you guys. <laughs> even though you all hate me. You don't watch Let's Talk About, like, literally the Grumpy Cat episode only has, like, one view, so if y'all can, like, you know, share, and Share like, it to subscribe. your uncle or your brother or your share grandpa's your sister's hobo. dog's roommate. Bring a, bring a bowl of chili to your local hobo, right? Give I him like the chili. Dog. And within the chili, put a note, right, that says, watch Let's Talk About. I don't know how this, no, no. I don't know how give hobo's going to watch it. Give him a it, tablet. But... Give him a tablet so he can watch it. Oh, you and then you can eat the chili costs? while he watches. You know how much a tablet costs? No, hey, mate, you can get one of those cheap Kenny. Android ones. No, seriously, Kenny, you're a budget manager. You know how much one of those costs? Uh, maybe you can find one secondhand for like 20 Oh, God, we don't have that kind of budget. All right, well. <laughs> okay, okay, let's wrap this up. Be kind, rewind. We'll see you next time.